All right, Shalom, this is Gamali Allah out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yal Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to Allah Akin, I'm pushing out this truth and sincerity. <clears throat> all right, um, now this is a quick lesson. All right, and uh, this is actually going to be a response to uh, this video right here uh, Hebrew Israelite live discussion with Christian apologists, topic Gentile, sal Gentile salvation. Now, uh, this is uh, from this guy, Believers of the Way, Yahweh Shai. All right, which uh, I don't know. I've never seen this guy before. He just popped up on my feed. You know, I don't know if he uh, studied under Great Millstone. I don't. I don't know. You know, what camp? You know, he belongs to or or whatever. You know, but you get just random. You just get random Israelite videos on your feed. So you know, I clicked on it. And uh, here he is. He's debating this guy, uh, uh, righteous by faith. Okay, uh, some Christian, and uh, they have a two two and a half hour debate. And uh, see, this is why we don't do debates with uh, with with anyone. We don't do debates with Christians because you watch this whole thing, and there's really no edification. You know. Uh, I mean, you have this guy uh, uh, with Believes of the Way, you know, he is, is you know, bringing out uh, uh, the scriptures. But I guess what I'm saying is you're not going to have anyone that's that's going to come and, you know, convert. Oh, well, you know, all right, well, this Israelite sounds right. So, you know, let me go with him. Let me start following and studying, you know, uh, you're not going to have any Christians that that's going to do that. Everyone is going to leave the debate, you know, with 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 their own preconceived beliefs. You know, they're going to leave the debate with their own beliefs. You know, so that's why we don't waste our time with debates, because ultimately you're not going to reach a conclusion. It's just going to be an ongoing. He's not going to see it. And the guy says it in the video. He keeps saying, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to respond how you want me to respond. Because the Christian doesn't go according to the scriptures. OK, he's going according to, you know, what he believes and he feels that the scripture says, which the scriptures say uh, no scripture is a private interpretation. So you got to go based off what the scriptures say, not your feelings. But anyway, without further ado, I don't want to uh, prolong talking. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this video and get some precepts. The law is still in effect, just like the Bible, just like you read in, in, uh, okay. in Matthew. Right? The law is still in effect, but here's the difference. The law is meant to point your sin. It's like a mirror, and I'm going to show you, you. You wanted to see a scripture. I'm going to show you right here. We're going to go back to Romans 7, and we're, I'm going to show you how Paul is not talking about the law of sacrifice. He's talking about the Ten Commandments because he yeah. goes to the Ten and I'm going to show you right here in uh, chapter 7, and I'm going to start at verse 7, and I hope you guys can follow along. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Certainly not. On the contrary, I would not have known sin except through... All right, so <clears throat> as you see, uh, the this guy, uh, so-called righteous by faith. All right, uh, you know, he's going in. And you know what? He's 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 confused, man. When it comes to the scriptures, he's totally confused. If you watch, you know, majority of it, he is totally confused because first he says, "Oh, the the law, like you just heard, he said the law is not done away with." He said the law is still in effect. All right, but then, you know, he he also tries to. Uh, uh, he also tries to say, oh, well, we don't got to keep the law. You know, he, he tries to basically, uh, uh, he'll say the law is still in effect, but then turn around and say that, you know, we're not under the law. Which, I, I, you know, that's the point of this lesson is I'm, I'm going to, you know, cover that point. But anyway, this is Romans 3 and I'll start at 20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law. There shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is knowledge of sin. It says, but now the righteousness of the Most High without the law is manifested, 
being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Okay, so the the uh, it says the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be saved because you know if we were all judged according to the law, no we no one would make it, man. You know because the scriptures say uh, uh, we all fall short of the glory of the Most High. All right. So we all are, are sinners, man, you know, which sin is transgression of the law. So we're all under sin, uh, you know, with the flesh. Yahweh Shai was the only one, you know, who who lived, you know, and, uh, and fulfilled the law in its entirety. And, you know, he did away with death. It says, uh. It says, for by the law is knowledge of sin. It says, but now the righteousness of the Most High without the law is manifested. So what is that? What is that talking about? That's talking about faith. Okay. It says, even the righteousness of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned, sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. Yes. Yeah, so just like I quoted, we've all come short and we've all sinned. You know, according to the glory of the Most High, you know, we've all we've all uh, sinned and, you know, uh, uh, you know, went off. OK. You know, everyone has has, you know, done something worthy of, of being uh, judged or, or worthy of death. OK. Because the scriptures say we're under the chains of darkness and Jude. All right. It says, uh. Being freely justified by his grace through the redemption that is in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So, and, I, and I'll say this, the guy, the Israelite guy, uh, this guy, whatever his name is, you know, he was saying that uh, he was actually making a statement that uh, that he, he was basically under the, under the, he was basically teaching that you know, we have to keep the law in its entirety. Now, I don't know. I don't know, you know, if that's the case, you know, but from what I gathered from the teaching, I, I you know, from what I've gathered, that's what I, I believe he's trying to say. Because this guy, the other guy, the Christian guy was basically saying that, you know, we, uh, he basically was making the point that we're no, un we're no longer under the law. Which, which the elect is no longer subject to the law. We're no, I will say no longer bound by the law. Okay. All right. But we ought to keep, it, it, it is a righteous act. Okay. To keep the law. So a man of the Lord is naturally going to keep the law. Okay. Regardless of if we're bound on the law or not, the scriptures tell us to keep the law. Cause law, the law is sin. So you can't, uh, matter of fact, let's get that. Cause I don't want to keep rambling on. Uh, I'll just jump down to the verse 31. Cause this is a point that I'm making verse 31. It says, do we then make void the law through faith? Yahweh forbid. Yeah. We established the law. So we established the law. Okay. We don't make the law void through faith. I'm sorry. We don't make void the law through faith. Okay. So basically meaning, you know, you don't, you know, uh, uh, just just not keep the law because, oh, we just say we have faith in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. No. All right. It says we established the law. And Yahweh Shai said he didn't come to destroy the law, but to fulfill the law. Let's get that. Hold on. Hold on, bear with me one moment. I'm trying to find exactly what I want.
I can, I'll just get this. This is a uh, Matthew. Uh, I'm sorry, John 15. Uh, John 15 and 25. But this cometh to pass that one, that the word might the, might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. Matter of fact, that wasn't it. Damn. It's locked. Bear with me one more. Matthew 5 and 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Okay? So, Yahweh Shai didn't come to, to do away with the law. All right? That's just the bottom line, you know? Uh, that wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but, you know, that's, that's on point. Galatians 2 and 16. I'm going to grab these last two. Galatians 2 and 16. It says... Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, even we have believed in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, that we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh of HaMashiach, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. And this guy, uh, the Israelite in the debate, he didn't touch on that. Okay, he didn't touch on the fact that, you know, we are justified by Yahweh Shai. We're justified by faith. You know, so that was the conflict. You know, he was harping on, oh, we got to keep the law. We're supposed to keep the law. But he didn't touch on the fact that the elect is not under the law. OK, it's only through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach that we be saved because otherwise we'll be doomed. Which Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, he only he only did away with the sacrificial law, which which, you know, he did go into. But. But, you know, they didn't touch on the full thing. Let me get another one. This is, uh, let's see, Romans 10 and 4. It says, for Yahweh for Hamashiach is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Okay. So he did, he is the end of the law. Okay. Because Yahweh fulfilled it. Okay, Yahweh Shai is the law. He became the law. Okay, by his sacrifice, he became the law. You know, he he basically uh uh, you know, put put his life on the line, you know, for the elect to be saved, and so that they won't be judged. They will no longer be judged by the law. Because if they were to be judged by the law, they'll be through. Let me get this, and I'll close up. Matthew 5 and 17, and it says, Think not, I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. That's what I was looking for. Okay, for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So, you know, that was pretty much the point. You know, Yahweh Shai basically um, is not going to destroy the law, but to fulfill. So, with that, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rukakudash, double honors to the elders and apostles, Shalom.